Yo guys, so what you're gonna be watching today is a one of like my first best class setups tips video, whatever you wanna call it. It's basically the ASM1 speakeasy version, best class setup. The attachments I'm using on this gun might not work for all the ASM1s because this ASM1 has plus I think minus one damage, plus two fire rate and minus one range. So some attachments won't work as well on the normal ASM1 or any other type of ASM1 because I tried I tried using the same attachments on ASM1 magnitude and trust me it was not working suppressor does not work on this gun but you can still class on the screen now I am using grip suppressor and extended mags are already built in so that takes one attachment slot and yeah for the class you need to have three attachments I mean I reckon you should have three attachments for me with without two attachments it was pointless grip is actually needed for this gun because this gun seems to kick up a lot since it has plus plus two fire rate so it has about I think 11 fire rate I'm, I'm guessing here I'm, I don't know the actual stat but yeah it kicks up a lot without grip I tried using I basically tried all the attachments on this gun since this is probably my favorite SMG in the game now I tried using a lot of attachments, I tried a uh, quick draw grip, I tried uh, I tried everything that you can possibly put on this gun. But it didn't work, grip, suppressor or advanced rifling, I would say advanced rifling is good. But if you want to stay off the radar, suppressor is also pretty solid. I personally prefer using suppressors at the moment, but if you get in a lobby with uh, a group of people that are good or if you get in a lobby against a clan, I would advise you to use advanced rifling since it gives you that re extra range and uh, the, su the suppressor doesn't take any damage away from from the gun. But if you're playing a casual lobby, so uh, like full of noobs, for example, suppressor will do good. I don't think I was playing anyone special in this game. I did manage to pull off 60 kills with this ASM1. That's why I think. I, that's why I think I wasn't playing anyone special. There was a kid on the enemy team spamming grenades as you can see here, he, he just had that MLD grenade launcher, he was spamming grenades like crazy. And he's probably the only person that killed me a lot of times this game. But I'm going off topic here, going back to the class setup. Try these attachments if you do have the ASM1 speakeasy. Um, I'm not going to say, as I said before, I'm, I don't think these attachments work well on all the ASM1s, but it definitely, they definitely work on ASM1 speakeasy. The kill streaks I'm using is uh, is uh, the system hack and UAV. I think I upgraded the UAV to a extra assists and speed, and my system hack is upgraded to extra assists and extended time. Those kill streaks are good. System hack. I don't use any lethal kill streaks because there's no point. I seem to get more kills when I'm using just my gun. The maps are. Most of the maps are closed off anyway, and the kill streaks ain't the best. The controllable kill streaks. I'll give you uh, if you like the Warbird, that's probably one of the best kill streaks in the game. If you add Defender onto it for 50 plus points, it flies around. If it follows you around the map like an AH6 Overwatch from the old Call of Duties, and it picks people up on its own, and actually gets me a lot of kills. So if you are, if you do want like a kill streak to kill, get you not a lot of kills, but get some kills. I recommend using that Warbird with Defender on it, but personally I stopped using kill streaks that kill because they don't get me as many kills as I want and I'd rather have extra perks and extra attachments space, so yeah, just use two kill streaks. I heard that System Hack is going to get a patch soon, I read it on uh, charlieintel.com that whoever made this game, I always forget the name of the person, let's just say Sledgehammer tweeted out that a, um, system hack is going to get a nerf I don't think they're going to nerf it so it's like completely useless I think they're going to make it like an EMP from like Mono for 3 so like uh, you can see your reticle you can see your map you can see the kill feed they're just going to get rid of that annoying flashing thing in your face and annoying skull blocking half of your screen because that is really annoying that's the main reason I use system hacks because I well played to this guy he just outplayed me there I died but anyway, yeah, going back to the topic, um, yeah, System Hack is going to get that patch, and I th that's what I believe they're going to do. 
just take away the big massive skull on, away from like the middle of the screen and take away the annoying uh, noise as well because th that's yeah, the main reason I use system hack is because it's really annoying and I hate getting system hacked but when I system hack the enemy team I know they're gonna get annoyed and I use extended time just so it annoys them for a bit longer <laughs> But uh, yeah, I went off topic they're talking about kill streaks. Yeah, this ASM one is probably the best ASM one you can get. It is an elite version and I, I did see there's another I think elite or professional version. So ASM one something rigor. I am not 100 percent sure how to pronounce that. But uh, it has like extra range or something. I haven't seen the stats for that for that gun because I haven't unlocked it yet. But I think it has extra range and extra damage or something. It's another pretty good type of the ASM one. But anyway. I hope you enjoyed the gameplay, hope you learned something from this game. You can see the class on the screen now again. I mean you'll see it in a minute. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.